This is the National Ski Patrol Outdoor Emergency Care Skill Performance Guideline for inserting an oropharyngeal airway. Initiate standard precautions. Hold the adjunct against the side of the face with the flange adjacent to the corner of the patient's mouth. Size the airway by measuring from the patient's earlobe to the corner of the mouth or from the corner of the mouth to the angle of the jaw. Open the patient's mouth with the cross finger technique. Hold the airway upside down with your other hand. Insert the airway with the tip facing the roof of the mouth and slide it in until it is halfway into the mouth. Rotate the airway 180 degrees. Insert the airway until the flange rests on the patient's lips. Initiate standard precautions. Size the airway. Place the flange against the nostril and the end should touch the patient's lower earlobe. Coat the tip and the entire length with a water-based lubricant. Insert the lubricated airway into the larger nostril with the curvature following the floor of the nose. If you're using the right nair, the bevel should face the septum. If using the left, insert the airway with the tip of the airway pointing upward, which will allow the bevel to face the septum. Gently advance the airway. If using the left nair, insert the nasopharyngeal airway until resistance is met, and rotate the nasopharyngeal airway 180 degrees into position. This rotation is not required if using the right nostril. Continue until the flange rests against the skin. If you feel any resistance or obstruction, remove the airway and insert into the other nostril.